In this next tutorial, we will be looking at several different ways of using the while count control loop. For example, instead of printing all the numbers from 1 through 10, if I only want to print all the odd numbers from 1 through 10, all I need to do is my starting point is 1, which is the starting point of the first odd number from 1 through 10. All I need to do is change my increment from 1 to 2, and when I execute this, here I have all the odd numbers 1 through 9. Similarly, if I want to print all the even numbers from 1 through 10, all I need to do is change my starting point to 2 because the first even number between 1 and 10 starts at 2, and all even numbers are spaced out by 2. So when I run this program, here we go, you can see all the even numbers from 2 to 10. If I want to display all the even numbers from 2 to 20, all I need to do is just change my ending condition to 20. And you can see how easily the same loop now runs for all the numbers that are even from 2 through 20. So this is how you can use your loop and manipulate them, make changes to them. And However, one thing has to be kept in mind. You could only increment by one using CTR++ and CTR. There is no concept CTR++ or CTR to increment by two. So you could only use CTR equals to CTR plus 2 or CTR plus equals to 2. Those are the only two approaches that you could take in this, in this program. So none of these approaches will take an effect. Either you can write CTR plus equals to 2 if you want to increment by 2, CTR equals to CTR plus 5 if you want to increment by 5. Similarly, you can write CTR plus equals to 5. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial. See, catch you in another tutorial. Thank you.